If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before listening on. In order to determine the moment of inertia for all parts of the question, we're going to have to refer to the following equation. Now, the letter I, of course, represents the moment of inertia. We have this Greek sigma symbol, and that just means sum. We'll explain that momentarily. And then we have the mass of each object multiplied by a certain distance. So this equation might look a little intimidating at first, but once we break it down, it won't be too bad. We're going to begin with part A, and we're going to calculate the moment of inertia about the x-axis. And to get that started, we will select the 2 kilogram object and begin to plug into the formula. Notice that the 2 kilogram object is located 3 meters from the x-axis. So when we plug into the formula, the distance for that object, this little r term right here, will indeed be 3 meters. And then the mass, of course, will be 2 kilograms. Notice that the distance is squared. Now, we're basically going to do the same thing for all the other objects. Notice that the distance from each object to the x-axis is 3 meters. So all of the distances will be 3 meters in part A of the question. The only difference will be the mass of each object. And then we'll also notice that we are adding together the individual moments of inertia. The reason we add them is because of this Greek letter sigma, which simply means to add everything together. And when you add them all up on your calculator, you should get 99, and the unit will simply be kilograms times meters squared. And that is indeed the correct answer to part A. In part B, we are calculating the moment of inertia relative to the y-axis. Basically the same kind of calculation. Just notice that the distance from each object to the y-axis would be 2 meters. And that, of course, comes from the fact that this distance right here is 4 meters. So all we have to do is a similar calculation, but this time we'll be plugging in 2 meters for all of the distances. And when you compute that, you should get 44 kilogram times meters squared. So that's the correct answer to part B. Now in part C, the axis is through the origin and is perpendicular to the page. So it's actually impossible to draw it. We just have to imagine that right here, there is an axis that's sort of projecting out of the screen as well as back into the screen. What we need to figure out is the distance from this point to all four of the objects. And what we can do is form a right triangle. And since we know this distance here is 2 meters, and this distance here is 3 meters, we can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out this distance right here, the hypotenuse of our right triangle. So we'll show that work over here. And when you calculate C, you should end up with the square root of 13. So that's going to be the distance from the axis of rotation to all four of these objects. With that in mind, we can plug into the formula. And once you've plugged that into the formula and computed it, you should obtain a value of 143 kilogram meters squared. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. You are also welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.